so I'm starting out this vlog, guys. Outside of Lowe's, I was not about to go in there and film again. I have this thing, it's a Porter Cable sander. That is a new power tool I picked up. And then I've got some wood stains, some discs to do the sanding. This fancy thing right here, a nice little paintbrush. What am I doing with all this today? You're gonna find out. And something I'm learning about myself here, in my mid 20s, I'm learning about myself still. I really enjoy doing do-it-yourself projects. They're a lot of fun to start with something crappy and end up with something that you put your own touch on and made it your way exactly, made it nice. So today I'm gonna do something with all of that. I've been doing a lot of do-it-yourself projects lately. I hung up a whole speaker system since the last time I vlogged. That took like eight hours on Saturday and I wasn't about to film that because it was kind of boring, honestly. But the speaker system sounds great. And the reason I put it up, I've got a couple noise complaints. So like a good neighbor, Michael is there to go spend all the money to turn down the bass on the speakers. Part of doing business. But yeah, we are about to leave Lowe's. Say goodbye to Lowe's, guys. And we're off to the gym. Can you guys hear that? Let me see. I think it's this thing. Can you hear this? I'm sure some of you guys might judge me for buying a bark collar for my dog. Um, but I live in an apartment and if you've ever lived in an apartment, you can get noise complaints. It's not good to get those. It's just, it's all about being a good neighbor, right? Whether it's the speaker or having a dog that's barking. Of course, I like try to train him and I only use it sparingly. Um, yeah, that is very annoying, but I just, I'm sorry guys. If you want to judge me for getting him a bark collar. I feel like when you get a dog, people are always like, I know the best way to take care of a dog and you don't know Jack, Michael. Does that make sense? I don't know. I'm rambling. Let's go. So this is the closet at the gym. It is a mess. I've been painting and sanding and this is the, the newest addition. It's a receiver and that way the receiver is locked in this closet and there's just a 50 foot aux cable going out onto the gym. So people can't jack the volume up so I won't get as many noise complaints. But yeah, this is a receiver. There's four speakers out on the gym and that took all day Saturday to do. But now we have to do the project. The reason I got the sander, I'm excited to break that thing out and try it. I've never sanded anything, but yeah, it's gonna be fun. So this is definitely the biggest eyesore at the gym, guys. At one point it was white, now it's like this barf green. It has other people's writing on it. So that's what I'm sanding today. I've got my mask right here. You guys are about to watch me sand for the first time. Is it gonna go well, is it not? Am I going to sand my hand off? Find out in the next clip. Maybe press harder. Press harder than that? <laughs> There's going to be a lot of work. That's all it's done? That's it. I figured it, it would come off a little easier. So as you guys can see, the sander is doing absolutely nothing. I think we'd be better off at just peeling it with our hands like that. Works much better. A quick Google search revealed that it's probably good to get paint stripper and then scrape it off and then sand it. So um, that was really pointless and a waste of time. Last week, guys, if you remember, it was my deload week. And it was like my first time in my life taking an actual deload week and sticking to this program. So we did the six weeks, we took a week off, everything was really light. Honestly, we just kind of like dicked around last week. It was kind of fun. Uh, but we're back on the program here. So for the first set, I did 305 pounds for the triple. 
And then now we are about to go onto our AMRAP. That is gonna be 340 pounds, 340. How many will I get fresh off a of D-load? So I don't embarrass myself. I'm gonna go for two, maybe three. Easy push, come on, you got a third, come on, let's go. Come on. Push, 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 push. You had like five more in you. Could've got that for 15, guys. Just felt like stopping though. Didn't want to burn out, could've got maybe 25. <laughs> you guys can tell by the footage, my squats are doing a lot better. So 340 for a triple. That was the most control I've ever done it. I probably could've got one or two more reps. That's progress. I haven't filmed squats in forever, mostly because I've been kind of working on my form and doing a couple things. Now, I'm gonna give you guys a few small tips that have, that, that have helped me out, right? So the first one being, uh, being more in control with your breathing and every rep, so maybe not hurrying down each rep. Um, and one thing that I like to do now is, so you always say like breathe before you squat, right? Take a deep breath. But when you, when you sometimes take like a deep breath, you can, there's a difference between holding your breath in your chest and then actually breathing into the belt or your core to brace your stomach. So check this out, watch. I can do two different breaths right here, ready? One, see how my chest goes up? I'm holding it up here and it's, there's no air down here in my stomach or I can put like a hand here and a hand here and focus on breathing into my stomach to make those expand. So as long as I can feel these moving out as opposed to holding all the air in my chest, that has helped a lot. The second thing involves these shoes. Before I had them laced all the way up to here, I unlaced them down one hole and this is gonna allow me to have a little bit of increased ankle dorsiflexion if I don't have that restriction right there. So that has helped a lot too. And the third thing that I'm doing has to do with my feet when I'm squatting. And that is something that I've recently learned about called tripod foot. And it means exactly what you think it means. Your foot is a tripod, right? So you wanna have three points of contact on the big toe, the small toe, and then your heel. And I think this was like my biggest problem for the longest time. So before I think just push through my heels and at the bottom of every rep, my knees would go actually too far out over my toes. I would kind of over exaggerate that cue. But ever since I've started the three points of contact when I squat, like it's, it's really difficult if you're pushing through your pinky toe and your big toe to have your knees go in and out. So those are three things that have helped me out a lot. Try them out. Hopefully you guys can tell a difference in my squat. They are feeling good. I think I could have hit 405 today, which is my PR and we're making progress. It's the name of the game. Just wrapped up the workout guys. I did three, five, seven, four, six, eight on sumo deadlifts at like 310 pounds sticking to the program. I move my feet in just a little bit closer and they're starting to feel good again. Uh, but I have a small favor for you guys. So the gym is like really hot. Thankfully in Oklahoma, it's like cooled off and it's 88 degrees. So it's not that bad. But when, we, when it gets hot in here, it was like 105, so it's super hot. So I reached out to big ass fans. I posted a picture on my Instagram and then I was like, hey, I really want a big ass fan. They said, if you get 10,000 likes on a Facebook picture, we will give you a fan and install it, which would be amazing for the gym. It would seriously help the gym out a lot. So if you guys could go to my Facebook page and like this picture right here, maybe share it, leave a comment. I would really appreciate it because then I'd get a fan. And if you ever come to the gym, it won't be like a sauna in here. So I'm gonna pick 20 people that like, comment, or share one of the three, and I will send you a copy of my cookbook for free, guys, because I appreciate it and I could really use a fan. I'm sweating. Look at that. This is a cold day and my shirt is drenched. Thanks guys. So the wood stain and sander didn't work out. I'm just gonna paint it black. Simple as that, paint it black. I don't think that box is worth the effort anyway. So we're just gonna slap some black paint on it. Don't really care how it looks. As long as it's not green and vomit, I'm happy. You're good, you're good. It's a nice quality box. <laughs> this was 20 bucks. I'm just challenging each other. <laughs> oh, sorry, dude. We're team 10, dude. We got hard.
So after the paint is dried, this is what it looks like. Much better than it did before at the start of the day, honestly. Fixing this was basically free because I already had the paint. I just had to buy one of those brushes. It was like a $6 restoration project. No, I couldn't use the sander, but this is all right. Before I head out, guys, this is all I have left of the Obtain Strength stuff. So if you want to get 20% off, I'm just trying to clear it out. Use Obtain at checkout. It's down below. If you watch all these vlogs, I have this pretty much every video. Two scoops of BPN, about 120 grams of oats and almond milk, and you got yourself a great shake. Use the discount code down below in the description. Save yourself some money on this. It is just my last name, K-O-R-Y. So it is later in the night, guys, and we are going to grab some Mexican food because that's pretty much all we ever eat. And this is one of the shirts. If you guys want to get 20% off, this is one. If you're a size XL, I have a couple left, and that's it. And I also have some hats, but... I am hungry. I have had like 400 calories today, so I'm gonna feast. Two seconds from the gym. It's really cheap and it's really freaking So the music in the restaurant just turned off, mm -hmm. so I really don't want to talk too loud, but because there's a lot of other people here eating. But uh, I got chicken fajitas, guys. <laughs> I love fajitas. It's usually my go to at a Mexican restaurant just because I feel like. Look at all this food you get. Like, I have three plates of food. Everyone else at the table, how does it feel to only have one plate? You have, to have three plates. One, like two, like three. Look at that. I'm eating like a king, and you're eating like a peasant. I could probably eat my plate plus yours. <laughs> Just got back to the apartment, guys. What a day. I'm going to wrap this video up here. Why? I'm going to go take the dogs out, and then I'm going to go watch Bloodline, and then I'm going to go to bed. So if you guys like the video, make sure to hit the damn like button. I appreciate it very much. It's down below. You need to hit it because it's a cool Bloodline thing to do. It's a great show if you guys have not watched it. Seriously, it's a good show. Ozark is also really good. We watched all of Ozark, which is uh, 10 episodes in less than 24 hours. It was a really lazy Saturday night and Sunday. It was good though. Recommended both. Thanks for watching. Peace out.